Hey, Shalom. First of all, I think all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakwakadash, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a deeper honor to the apostles, a great meal, so who has taught me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the eye came across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth. And the rest of like to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Lord willing, the videos edifying. Lord willing, I can get something from this video. Uh, this is a quick video. I had watched a, uh, a video uh, that a brother posted earlier, and a brother was kind of just getting precepts and going through scriptures um, on how our kingdom are, is going to be and how everything is going to be laid out, man. And you know how you know the, the streets will be gold. And you know uh, the brother even mentioned that his woman had a dream. You know that in inside the house. You know what I mean? It was, you know, the walls were gold and it was, you know, emeralds and, and rubies and stones, certain different stones mixed in with the gold, man. You know, and this goes to show you that, you know, our kingdom is going to be glorious, man. Okay. And it's going to be a kingdom that's going to stand forever. And it has to because, you know, right. You know, it's been enough with the wickedness, man. Wickedness can't go on because if wickedness leads to death. Wickedness can't go on forever. Righteousness lead to life. So that's why, the, you know, the kingdom is going to go on forever, man. It's a righteous kingdom. You know, when it's, when, you know, that is, it's immortal. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when you go to, you know, Isaiah, the 60th chapter, right, which is one of my favorite chapters, um, you know, to read over so you get a better, you know, image, you know, and a better understanding of what's, you know, going to be happening in, in, in you know what's going to be taking place in the kingdom, man. Scriptures say that strangers shall build up thy walls. Strangers are going to build up our walls, man. Which are which means the heathen is going to build up our walls, man. No more stress, no more pain, no more worrying about different things, no more you know worrying about if your woman committed adultery or you know if the kids, your kids going to school. And if they learning homosexual shit at the school, like no more, none of that, man. You know, you got to think. And then in Isaiah, the second chapter, it tells you that the law will come out. Well, the law will come out of uh, of Israel. Right. But. Um, but uh, uh, Israel will be that top, you know, government, you know what I mean? That top government, kind of like how, you know, you got the government running and, you know, running the world now. We're going to be that top governing body, man. Other nations are going to flow onto it, man. You know what I mean? Because the Lord is really going to, you know, reveal his glory within us. You know, because we're, we're, we're his, you know, we're part of his, you know, we're, we're his, we're his men, man. Okay. We're his, his, uh, his, you know, favorite people, you know, and that's, that's a heavy you know, that's a heavy title to hold when you really think about it, you know, the creator of all things, you know, we're his favorite people, you know, the heathens are not, man, the heathens are liking on the spit, you know, so this is why, you know, you motherfuckers gonna have to serve, man, and look at all the wickedness and all the things that you've done to Jake, man, okay, you've beat, robbed, raped, murdered, right, put in captivity, put us in captivity, you did all kind of manner of evil, all kind of wickedness, man, you know, and you'll be a fool to think that you're not going to be repaid back for your wickedness. Because scriptures say he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword, man. Okay. And let me grab. Uh, I'll grab it really quick. I should. Right. Check it out. Right. Revelations 13, 9 and 10. It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, man. Okay, and you motherfuckers killed with the sword and you let us into captivity. So what that show you? What that tell you? Okay. Yeah, you that mean you motherfuckers finna get it. You know, let me grab this really quick too. Cause I was talking about it earlier. This is uh, Isaiah 60. And I'm gonna go down to 10. It says, And the sons of strangers which the heathens shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee so even the high rep of them is going to minister unto us for in my wrath i have smote thee and indeed because the lord put us through captivity he put us under he put us in subject under these nations right because we went off 
You know, we didn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments. It says, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Because when you go to right here, when you go to Isaiah 14, 1, it says, for the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob. Okay. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave, uh, uh, cleave to the house of, of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the, of the Lord Yahweh for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So you motherfuckers going again, right? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into uh, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So you guys let clearly led us into captivity. Okay? And you're gonna be led into captivity. Yeah, we were your captives, but you know, now you're gonna be ours. Okay, because it's only right. It's only right. Okay, it says uh, eleven. It says, therefore, thy gates shall be open continually; they shall not be shut day nor nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought for the nation and kingdom. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. So, for the nation and kingdom that don't serve us, they're gonna perish. Okay, it says, yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Okay. So you you know you you're gonna be you the nations who don't want to serve us you buck up you're gonna be you're gonna be made an example out of man. Okay, so fourteen it says the sons of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee just like I said in fourteen, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord Yahweh the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an and eternal excellency, a joy of many generations, man. Okay, and you could go on and get more blessings, right? But that was basically the point, man. You know, the heathens have put, in, put us in the captivity. We're going to put the heathens in the captivity. Our kingdom to come will be a glorious kingdom. This is what we have to look for, man. The shit in this world is nothing but dung, man. Okay, use the box, use cars, use cribs, use, you know, resources, use all this shit, man. Bad air. Right, polluted air, like this shit is nothing, man. But you know what we're gonna get is everything, man. Okay, everything, man. We just gotta keep faith and keep going, man. Okay, we gotta keep the faith and keep going, keep fighting, man. Okay, don't give me into your flesh, man. Okay. So with that, man, just a quick video. Lord, when the video is edifying, I want to give all praises and glory to you. How about Hashem? How about Shai? Hashem? Kakadash? One table. Let's keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.